It's Brittany, teacher. I hope you are staying safe. Today, I'm going to read your book, Ostrich's Long Neck. I'm going to read one time. I want you to read with me. Use your finger to point at the words and follow along. Then, read the story one more time by yourself. After you are finished, please answer your worksheet questions. Use the answer key to grade your worksheet, take a picture, and send it to me. Then I will check one more time. Okay? Let's read. Are you ready? Here we go. Ostrich's Long Neck, Two African Portuguese Tales. How Crocodile Gave Ostrich a Long Neck. The noontime sun was bright and hot as Crocodile swam in the cool river. I am hungry, he said. I need a snack. Crocodile swam to the riverbank and crawled up into the shallow water. His long nose rested on the soft mud and the water washed over his rough back. Crocodile pretended to cry. Oh, oh, oh! My tooth hurts. Can somebody help me? Zebra was eating grass nearby and he heard Crocodile. Zebra walked over to the water's edge, but he kept a safe distance. I know your tricks, Crocodile, said Zebra. You don't really have a toothache. You won't catch me for lunch. And Zebra trotted away. Oh, oh, Crocodile said sadly. My tooth hurts so badly. Can somebody help me? Crocodile tears rolled down Crocodile's face. Plop, plop went the fake tears as they fell upon the water. Monkey was swinging through a tree nearby and he heard Zebra. Monkey dropped to the ground and skipped over to the river's edge but he kept a safe distance from Crocodile. You old trickster, said Monkey. You don't expect me to believe that your tooth really hurts, do you? I will not be tricked into being your lunch. Monkey giggled and danced away. Crocodile sighed. He made the tears flow a little faster. Plop, plop, plop. Oh, 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 he called out. Can somebody, ah, uh, can anybody help me? Please! Ostrich was walking along the shore, looking for fresh green shoots to eat. Whenever he found some, he would fold his long legs underneath his body to get low to the ground. He reached out his short neck and nibbled the leaves. Ostrich heard Crocodile's cries. He rose up on his long legs and ran over to the crocodile. Oh, help me, kind ostrich, said Crocodile. I have a sore tooth. Please take a look inside my mouth. Ostrich put his head into Crocodile's mouth. Which one is the sore tooth? asked Ostrich. It's in the back, said Crocodile. I still don't see a sore tooth, said Ostrich. Smack! Crocodile snapped his mouth closed. Ostrich's head was trapped inside. Let me out, shouted Ostrich. Let me out. He pulled and pulled, but the crocodile held tight to Ostrich's head. Ostrich pulled harder. Then he pulled even harder. Suddenly, his head popped free of crocodile's mouth. He ran as fast as he could away from the river. Finally, he slowed down and looked around. Everything looked different. He felt taller. Ostrich looked at the ground and saw an insect crawling over a blade of grass. Ostrich leaned over and snapped up the tasty treat. Oh my, Ostrich said in surprise. I didn't have to bend down to get that bug. My neck reached all the way down to the ground. And thanks to Crocodile, that is how Ostrich got a long neck. Here's another version. How the ostrich gave himself a long neck. Long ago, the ostrich had a short neck. 
With such long legs, he had trouble reaching seeds, insects, and other food on the ground. But one night, that changed. Mr. and Mrs. Ostrich had built a nest for their eggs among some termite mounds. When Mrs. Ostrich sat on the nest and tucked her head down, she looked like a termite mound. This trick of the eye kept the eggs safe. However, Mrs. Ostrich was growing tired of sitting, sitting, sitting. Tonight, I shall sit on our nest, Mr. Ostrich said. My feathers are black and I can keep our nest well hidden in the dark. You can use the night to rest and eat. What a wonderful idea, cried Mrs. Ostrich. When night fell, Mrs. Ostrich dashed dashed away and Mr. Ostrich settled onto the nest. An hour or two passed. Mr. Ostrich heard noises from beyond the termite mounds. What silly ostrich is running around and playing at this time of night, he said to himself. He stretched his neck to see over the mounds, but he couldn't see. Then Mr. Ostrich's eyes popped open widely I can't believe what I'm hearing, he said to himself. It is my wife. She is running around acting like a silly fool in the middle of the night. Mr. Ostrich peered into the darkness. He stretched his neck even more toward the termite mounds to hear better. There was his wife playing games with her ostrich friends. The nerve of her, said Mr. Ostrich, standing up to put a stop to the silly games. Just then, the cool night breeze swept across his legs and he sat back down. I cannot let the eggs get cold, he said. All night, Mr. Ostrich heard the laughter and games. All night, he stretched his neck up a little higher to, hear, to better hear the sounds. As the sun rose the next morning, daylight spread across the plains. Finally, Mrs. Ostrich came back to the nest. There you are, said Mr. Ostrich sternly, standing up on his legs. I have something to say to you about last night. But then an odd look crossed his face. Why does the ground look so far away, he wondered. Mrs. Ostrich stared at Mr. Ostrich. What happened to you, she asked. Your neck is as long as your legs. It was true. Mr. Ostrich had stretched and stretched his neck all night long, and now it was stretched out long. And that is how the ostrich got his long neck. Okay, now we are finished reading. I want you to read your book one more time by yourself. Then answer the questions in your workbook pages. Use the answer key to grade and take a picture to send to me. I will look at your answers. Bye-bye.